Hello and welcome. This is Ascended Stars. Thank you for watching my channel. Ali Jade here with you. Uh, I intended to do a weekly reading, which I'm still going to do. I intend to do it on, to do it, have it finished on Monday. Yeah, that didn't happen. So we're going to go through this together. Oh, look, there's two finding. Let's see. <laughs> I'm kidding. Libra. Libra. This is your reading. So put that here and uh, get going. I have a new setup. Thank you so much, uh, my beautiful subscriber. Yeah, my beautiful subscribers for checking the channel out, being here if you're new. And um, this is going to be a new weekly see how it goes see how it goes wow we have some poppers for now Libras okay and so what's today it's Monday night right now and the moon looks amazing it's still I don't care what people say I'm still feeling that eclipse it's like a wonderful wave of energy if you're one of those people who have uh, worked very hard been challenged very hard so um, let's see here Libra the universe wants to give your message to you first this week okay and then we're just gonna pick everything right now <laughs> makes life easier when I start channeling and getting the messages to you. Okay, most influential astrological energies. All right, so let's see what we have for you, Libra. Energy is fluid. This, this is uh, bits and pieces. Take what resonates, but let, allow this energy to please transform itself not to just say that's not me that's not me because these are the weeklies <laughs> so let's go with um what's the energy that we have we have the thinking woman victory door to value door to romance all right, so this week, Libra. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. <laughs> Looking pretty good. All right. Let's see if we can. Hopefully, you can see that it's Libra. But okay. The thinking woman, which is you're an air sign. So definitely, you know, a lot of my sub subs are, are women, but this is general spread and it says completion so Libra something you know what I what I get excuse me for the glare I was looking at the card and not the camera but what I get is that uh, something that has been weighing heavenly on you he heavily on you heavenly <laughs> heavily on you is about to end and this is a big spiritual lesson okay it's a big spiritual lesson and it's another it's a leveling up it's a leveling up as well as what I get because this is <clears throat> excuse me chiseled you and made you stronger <clears throat> spiritually oh my gosh these colors are so amazing when you look at them <laughs> So this is, this is, you know, this week you're going to feel, you're going to feel like a challenge uh, has, has finished. Yes, a challenge has, has finished and you're going to be on your path, it looks like, and the path looks like a spiritual path. Okay, we got four, almost five minutes in and I'm going to start the clock now. Okay, so, um, should have done that five minutes ago. And this is so beautiful because 
the door to value it looks like something really wonderful in your life you have more substance you have more depth uh, you have more appreciation and you have happy ending so this has been quite a journey so this is a cycle this is the this is your cycle Libra everyone's going through their own bits and pieces of the cycle but for those like I say that have been doing the work and uh, are coming into peace with themselves and a complete you know this is balancing the scales baby that's what you guys are doing balancing knowing that if you remove one thing it's got to be compensated and the, or there's consequences and that frees you up that frees you up my dears because the thinking woman certainly is not is not going to be capable of going through the door of romance she's too um, not in her presence not in the presence because she's even if she's there in front of you she's not really there so you've taken this journey where I think you're really appreciating things and what is it that you're doing you're surrendering you're surrendering that's what it is 70 91 which is completion oh my look how beautiful this is get it coming to your own independence wisdom and then boom leadership that's amazing okay people you are a leader you know you are a cardinal sign so this is really part of your destiny to be stepping up stepping it up stepping it up and the universe is helping you here mm -hmm. okay Ooh la 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 okay i love it this week in libra and what's the astrological energy? Leo. A Leo might be influential, male or female, it doesn't matter. Or someone who represents these qualities of uh, leadership. Or you have someone that you remember that's a Leo in your life. And you might uh, emulate that those behaviors. The energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. So your self-belief has improved. And this week, uh, you'll be given the opportunity to really... Uh, yes, you'll be given the opportunity to really uh, step it up. Or people, you know what also I get? People are looking at you, Libra. People are looking at you. <laughs> Check Libra out. Well, look at Libra. Strutting their stuff. There's more confidence maybe too. And you're going you're gonna to be, uh, oh my gosh, it does look like you're going to be, somebody's looking at you, but you don't, quite reckon you don't see them you don't see this person coming but they might have been looking at you for a while because you've been preoccupied over here doing your own thing being independent getting it going on you know this is also nine you've been working on the nine vibration getting done with cycles which is eight so you're now the nine vibration holding the nine uh, energy of independence self-value wisdom and not and self-sufficiency that's my biggest one self-sufficiency so this is this is for my beautiful ones that are really got it together going on you know who you are you know who you are yes okay i don't even have to really research anything here because it's just such a beautiful situation going on there's some a happy thing that's going to happen to you there's something there's a good feeling the colors are amazing wisdom love but it says spiritual these complement each other so whoever you come to come into contact with you're going to be like received well and you're going to be with open arms vice versa you know both ways both directions all of these stars are purple which typically is not always the case so it's a, it's all about your vibration just keeping it high and always looking for the best solution and being that mediator person that you are and peace you know and just uh, people really and you surrendering into it and then somehow you're going to run into romance 
<laughs> Somehow. No, I'm just kidding. But it just it's like a beautiful like surrender. Surrender and door to romance. How much better? There is no clar clarification here. I just don't need any more. I mean, these are such good vibrations. Okay, let's take a look. Well, I mean, okay, let's just do it. We got we got some time. I I, I this is gonna okay, we're just gonna get really into it, guys, okay? Did you wanna find out? Did you think I'd leave you hanging? <laughs> Did you really think I'd leave you hanging? Okay, let's see. I just had to keep a shuffle. Another shuffle. Relationships, that's what it's about this year. And uh, right now, you guys are leading the pack. <laughs> that's all I can say. You're leading the pack with the lion card. Okay? So... Let's let's find out what makes you guys so intriguing here for the week. That might be the title. Intriguing Libra. Your weekly <laughs> for this week. All right. Well, what should I look at? Okay. Well, the thinking woman. What is this thinking woman thinking about? What is she so pensive and thinking? And okay, that one wants to come out. Just come out, baby. Just come out. All right. And what else? Well, we definitely want to look what's behind door number one. <laughs> what's behind door number one and door number two? What's, I'm not on anything, guys. I'm just, it's late and I've been up just doing stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm a Libra rising. I'm more PC these days, trying to hold it up. Okay, so let's see here. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the new setup, okay? I've been trying to mess with this setup for a while. All right, so let's see here. Gals and girls. All right, the thinking woman is thinking about Page of Cups. Innocent. I knew this. This is crazy. Okay, so the innocence. The innocence. She's thinking about the innocence. She's thinking about... This is the, the divine feminine, you know? Uh, thinking about innocence, thinking about how her money needs to be. She might this might might not be innocence, but I do I am picking it up as innocence. But it really it is about either her children, her young ones, um, the younger generation, almost you know like really far fetched or like um, a spirit here, people who have passed on, or you know. Yeah, any anything, anyone, animals, any a, any kind of passing on, you know, energy too. Really thinking about that energy of uh, completion, of letting go, stepping into the new. And then, in order to step into the new, you need money, honey. So she's being very uh, careful with her pennies. That's what I see, and her emotions too, because she's thinking before she acts. She's thinking before she gets into something and acts, and that's giving her victory. That's giving her a lot of a good feeling. She's going within. You see, she's learned. You've learned to go within and retreat, lean back, and just let things flow and happen. And you go about your business as they go about their business. And then you have you have an epiphany of some kind of spiritual career let's check that out huh let's check that out huh king of pentacles it's it, it's uh, some of you might be readers or spiritual in the spiritual community or doing something you know um even you know astrology whatever it may be so something alternative let's put it that way esoteric alternative therapeutic healing who knows but that's the energy i get with the spiritual career and so king of pentacles it's your own business you want your own business you're going you're you know you're you're, you're feeling more confident you are going to be more victorious you're putting your mind where your mind goes your body will follow everything everything else has to follow you just have to set your mind you're just one choice away bam okay Door to value. OMG. Check this out. 
why are you all getting seven of swords on door to value? I ask you. Tell me. Tell me. I'm kidding. This is crazy because this, it makes so much sense to me. I, I don't know if you guys see it, but it just makes so much darn sense. Okay. The way my take is, <laughs> is that you value yourself because this shit has happened to you so many times. Okay. This right here. And look, there's swords. There's air energy thinking. People have thought of how how they have taken advantage of you they've done they have premeditatedly thought about that stuff and done you whatever it is they they took off on you they abandoned you they took your stuff they blah, 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 blah. i don't even get into it that is why you now value yourself i really think this is yourself door to value is door to yourself okay you've learned through other people the the gemini third house energy here and number one through other people you've had to become number one with num which could be together become four which you have become number one and how do you do that by having a good foundation okay this is the this is really there's some star signs i feel that are really getting like really just they know exactly what to do or this is just the the light side, you know, the white side of that star sign, um, the positive side of that star sign that these people are just, they, they've gotten it together. They've learned their lessons. These are, these are final ties, you know, it's like final countdown type of energy. Oh, MG, <laughs> look what you got to door to romance. The 10 of rods or wands. <gasps> That's trippy. Okay. So why is, why is this here? Door to romance. It has been forever. It's such a long haul. It's been, it's been, it's been a heavy burden, right? A lot to carry. It's been a long way wait, waiting. It's been a long time coming. That's what I heard. It's been a long time coming long time coming so this is for those old timers <laughs> that's all i gotta say yes and you gotta surrender it, it'll happen it'll happen one day someday maybe but it you gotta surrender it and lead your life do what you have to do go for what you have to go for amazing oh my gosh okay so i'm gonna read you the um between worlds i'm gonna read you the what's her name colette baron reed number three the third house oh that's an important thing so connections is really important communicating networking really important for you this week okay so transitions it's called between worlds with the beautiful flamingo and transitions not being quite out of the one situation and fully engaged in another temporary blindness no man's land so this means between the world is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions this is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth you are done learning the lessons of recent experiences in this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again what is essential now is to admit not knowing there is a great freedom and power to be unleashed a mystery that is not yours to understand a mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts feelings beliefs desires and decisions the seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root now but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect when you are between the worlds you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. 
Do so and you will not be disappointed. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my God. Okay, so this is beautiful energy. So uh, let me let me go ahead and um, just wish you adieu. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I've, I'm going to cut it to this time. So have a great week. Good luck to you. Till next time. Ciao. Bye for now.